this is our re big uh, LA recap show. So let's kind of start out with the biggest news first, which was the Chevy Corvette ZR1 was unveiled yep. before the show. Before yep. actually, it was unveiled officially in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. but they sprung, a, they sprung up. They, they had a hell of a surprise. surprise yeah. yeah, we were not expecting it. They brought out a, a convertible. And they brought a convertible with a sexy <laughs> car babe. babe in it. Yeah. <laughs> so so you got caught by accident. General Motors basically put an ad out and brought a bunch of like pretty people there to yeah. fill up the you know to bolster <laughs> the crowd. Because we weren't pretty, you know, we were, you know men and oh, women actually. Yeah, so yeah. so but this is the truth. And there were so many people that that a lot of journalists were stuck outside and couldn't get in for the re uh, unveiling. But we got in. We were front row nearly, and we um, were first. We were there first. Yeah, we went through the throng. Seven hundred and fifty horsepower. Fifty-five. Seven fifty-five. Oh, and seven hundred and fifteen pound-feet of torque. So in a convertible, better. and it's got the rear wing. You can have two wing options. Yeah. Eight-speed automatic or seven-speed manual. It's seven huge. Speed manual. So they yeah. out. Oh, oh yeah, the out Hellcat of the Hellcat. If yeah. it wasn't for the demon. Anyway, I got to go to the Infinity QX50, which is basically like a, a rogue-sized uh, premium, premium. premium. And the big news there was that this is the first car with a variable compression engine. Oh, that's their newest so engine. engine. Yeah. And they, they said that what that gives you is the ability to have the MPG of a marathon runner, but the performance of a sprinter. Now whether that's true or not, we don't know, but that's what they said. Okay, we need well, to find a marathon well, runner. That sounds to we'll me like... We'll put that to the test. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's going to do kind of the same thing as cylinder deactivation, right? But but in a different way. In a different way. Yeah, and then yeah, I, also, yeah. I also went to the uh, Jaguar Land Rover event, uh, and they had like they had all their special vehicle. Um, yeah, but the most interesting one was the SV Range Rover Autobiography, and that's the most expensive Range Rover ever. Long wheelbase, $207,000. And it's got doors that close themselves. Not open, only close. You can see I'm a pretty moderately sized guy. Yeah. I have to stretch actually to open it's the door. Good. So I can stretch to open it because we never know what's going on outside. We don't want to open the door automatically and hit something. But on the closing front, I have a little button here that I can just depress to actually close the door for me. Well, I would hope so. Because they're so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, really. Royalty. If I'm paying $200,000, I want a butler to come and open the door for me. <laughs> <laughs> I need the car to do that. All right, let's talk about some of the other cars uh, that um, were kind of highlights of the show. Andre, you said you fall in love with the new M5. Yeah, that's going to have to be my number one from the show. The M5, it was in Save the... Save it, we're not there yet. Oh, how about the time? Yeah, you gave it up. Right, number one. Ah. Uh, all right, why was it your favorite? Well, the color. So, oh, when I was, uh, but well, you know the uh, remember the E thirty nine M five the four, the V eight one yeah, yeah. Um, that had the same blue paint and the same stance and I used to have that car you know on, on the wall in, in my apartment and I was like that car just reminds me of that car but it's got six hundred horsepower it's just. Uh, and of course, you guys got to go there. The biggest news of the show, the bell of the ball, so to speak, yeah, yeah. was the new JL Wrangler. Yes. Uh, you were there when they unveiled it. We were there. Luckily, we did a backgrounder on it uh, too. We got to go. We did the live show from the unveiling. And, and the big oh, yeah. news is, well, they had actually news. Four power plants, really. Right. There's the Pentastar. Right. There's the uh, hybrid two liter. It's not a mild hybrid. There's a diesel, which we know is coming. That's the eco diesel. Yeah, three, three liter. In a year from now. Yeah. And they announced the fact that there's going to be a plug-in hybrid, which is weird for a Jeep. Let's be yeah, it is weird for a Jeep, and and, and Jeep. Unfortunately, some people got that confused because he just said plug-in. Yeah, all these people. I mean, like, oh, it's electric. No, it's not. It's it's not all electric. It's a we double -in checked, and triple checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah we talked that's to the guys who actually built the vehicle. That's not till like 2020. No, 2020, yeah, and, and and he also said the diesel. They said uh, over 30 mpg on the highway, which, which is was a big nuts. That's huge. Yeah, it's really but there's a lot of details we have yet to receive, so in the future we'll get them. Transmissions with the diesel, stuff like that. So we'll get that in time. Yeah, well, if, if, yeah. the other interesting thing too is um, uh, I've read that that two liter in the Jeep, that four cylinder, right. is uh, somewhat related to the two liter in the Alpha, the Julia. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so but it's not a Tiger Shark. Yeah. It's not. It's not part of that. They swore up and down that it's not. No, right. It's, it's, it's not related. like a natural aspirated two liter right, like right. in the Renegade. Right. But the turbocharged yeah. two liter. Can we agree that the most beautiful car there was the Mazda what was Vision, it? Vision, Vision, Vision Coupe? Oh, that yeah. was just spectacular. That was gorgeous. Just that, was that car. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. We interviewed the guy. Yeah. And um, we've interviewed him before. Yeah, he's, he's the a, designer. He's, he's the designer who's worked with the CX-5 and a whole bunch of the other vehicles. And the Miata MX-5. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So my number three, yeah. it would uh, be the 
uh, Toyota FTAC. Okay. So I know that's, that sounds weird. It's only from a design perspective. That's my number three, not my number I know, one. I'm just doing votes. So each okay. one of you has a vote now. All right. Your number three. So it was cool, right? It was this vehicle that's basically like uh, the RAV4 Adventure, but taking it to the next level. Yeah, I think it's it's starting to hark towards what they're going to have to replace the FJ, which everybody wants a replacement for the FJ. I heard it was a replacement for the Adventure. That's what's coming next. The coolest well, it's part it's more of, that, of a crossover vehicle. The, yeah. the, the coolest part was it had that pull-out drawer. That where was you, really where cool. You could put your bike on yeah. yeah, only one though. It looks like it should hold two or three. But, yeah. Yeah. but, but regardless, there's a lot of really good ideas in terms of design. Yeah. So I hope we will see some of that with future product. We'll yeah. see. All right. So that was number three. What's number two for you? Number two was the Corvette. Okay. Yeah. How can you not love 700? And uh, 50 horsepower, 55. Andre, what was your number three for me? Was the XC40 Volvo. All right, well, I like the XC40 really Volvo. cool, really cool design. Yeah. We interviewed the designer as well. Great guy. Great and um, he pointed out a few things that I didn't notice yeah. because, but but the roof is different color, kind of like a mini, you know, where oh, yeah. you can mismatch and color match your roofs. Yep. And the interior was really cool, and just the way the whole car looks was just amazing. All right, so what's your number two? My number two was the um, GMC Sierra snow tank. Seriously? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh yes. Um, so what? So, what was this, Andre? Well, Andre, it's good. Yeah, nice treads. <laughs> Ooh, well, so you, can, you can go up to Vail and see it. It's here. For I could. Like I, I yeah. could. Yeah, you they lifted it six inches. They put giant tracks. Maybe actually, and really wide. And a really big graphics package also. Yes. Yeah. And uh, snowboards and skis. And snow, yeah. Gotta have both. All right. All right. Well, it's yours, Nathan. My number one? Yeah. The Wrangler. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, all right. The fact right. that you guys aren't choosing that as number one means that you need help. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Wrangler too. You know what my bonus is? Uh, Can we do bonuses? Can we no, do bonuses? no, I have to do mine first. No yeah. bonuses. <laughs> all right, let me start with my number three. I think my number three has got to be... I'm going to go with the i8 Roadster. Mm. I just love that side of that thing. I really like so that. So that, that's a really sexy vehicle. People, you know, they yeah. added a little bit more power. They took the top off. They got rid of the back seats. Uh, you know, the i8 had a lot of buzz around it, and then it came out, and it just wasn't fast enough, right? It looks faster mm -hmm. than it is. Yeah. And now by making it a Roadster, maybe it makes it more of a GT car and less of like a yeah. serious performance car. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, you know, my number two is going to be right here, and that's this Toyota Hydrogen, but that's a truck. What? That's a, that's a semi truck. Oh, you they hydrogen. That's so cool. <laughs> they, they took. Um, Two Mirai hydrogen-powered uh, fuel cells, fuel cells, and stuck them into a semi truck, which is cool in itself. And the thing's been running around uh, uh, the port of Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, it gets 200 miles of range, and uh, it's cool, man. It's a, it's a really. It, and I got to see under the hood. There's a lot going on. We were the there. You know, we're drinking coffee, and they unveiled the hydrogen truck. We you got so excited. You got him to drink coffee Actually, for tea. once? He I was going to say drink tea. tea. I was drinking coffee. Oh, uh, guys, you need help. Okay. All right, and my number one, of course, has to be the Wrangler. You know, it's, uh, yeah, how could, you, how could you not love that vehicle? You could tell the cool thing about the Wrangler is not only, I mean, they make all the issues, right? The old one had a lot of issues. Yeah. Including like the soft top, which nobody ever took off. The freedom panels, they addressed that. The fact that there was not enough room in it, they made it longer. The fact that you couldn't stuff big tires under it without modding it. Now they've got higher bumpers. Yeah, yeah. So you could put up to 35s. I mean, everything that people complained about, including things that people didn't complain about, like they moved the rear wiper from Down. the top. Yeah. Well, so, people complained about that. Yeah, so you had more, more oh, visibility. They, they... You could tell they sweated the details. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and they've had about 10 years of the other vehicles worth of complaints. And then on top of <laughs> that, the videos down. that <laughs> we've done, including others, where we pointed out small issues. And they took all of that into account. Like headlights, visibility, interior, The, the buckling everything. hood and, and the latches and the lack of electronic assistance for backing up. Everything that was mentioned has been addressed. And that's pretty impressive. You, you know, I think we've got the best video out there on the Wrangler, and that's because of all the hard work we've done, right? Me and you have been going to the Easter Jeep Safari now oh, yeah. for, what, five, six years? And we've, kind of, and we've kind of become friends with Mark Allen. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so when I did the interview with him, he trusted me. He opened up, right? And it really shows that, that we've got this kind of connection with the head designer of the oh, vehicle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I was really... He, likes, know, me, he my, likes me better than you, by the way, just so you know. You no, I think he likes me. No, he likes me better than you guys. You guys have a man crush on him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but my favorite, my bonus, yes. 
is the, the was, was the, the bonus. No, no, my my bonus, <laughs> okay, is, bonus. is the modified <laughs> Jeep performance part Mopar modified. That was Wrangler. a cool looking. He yeah. was uh, mojito green. Yeah. He was lifted. It's the name he had uh, 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 two green. doors. That was badass. Yeah, that's a that's a Mopar rolling project, and we're probably going to see that at Easter Jeep Safari. So maybe we can even drive it. Well, uh, I will first of all, how much does that weigh, Roman? About yeah. twenty-two pounds. <laughs> 22. It is, it is a, it's a real wood. Accurate, have a real, that's, that's a really specific yeah, have a real accurate. No, let Tommy do it. No, you go for it. You're holding it over there. Let's right. see what's in there. Oh, oh, phone phone book. Book. Phone look at book. that. It's a phone book. Wow. Oh, it's a press kit with a lot of good pictures of old wow. Jeeps. Wow. That's it? Yeah. No, it's that's like a little cotton oh, table. Look, there's more. Oh, oh look at that. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Oh, Shiny. Look at that. So we have a uh, thumb drive. We have a thumb drive, which of course has images. Oh, yeah. And we have this. Which what is this, boys? What what, what, what do we got here? Well, it's a cube. cube. It's a car key. Oh no. What oh, is it? A car key? No, it's a speaker. It's a, speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's made That's out of cool. wood. Yeah. This Jeff likes the Jeep, right? They do really. They do really good. Uh, yeah. Really heavy. Really heavy and really quality press clip. It's a Jeep. And there's a lot of. Uh, Thought that went into this. All right, boys. So big um, week next week. Yeah, we have a lot of videos. It doesn't stop to edit. Um, let's get to it. We got uh, we got places to be, cars to drive, trucks to review.